In 2005, our school faced many challenges as a small elementary school in Sheridan, Wyoming. Um, at that point, we were a failing school academically. Our kids weren't demonstrating learning at a high level. When you're a failing school, it's hard to feel good about anything, and uh, we had to work hard to change that within our little school community. The story of school turnaround at Meadowlark Elementary School is one of four case studies you'll find in this new guide. Promising literacy for every child, reading recovery, and a comprehensive literacy system. The guide can help schools build professional learning communities that support high quality literacy instruction for all children. One of the things we've noticed over time has been that the role of the reading recovery teacher in any given elementary building has gone well beyond at-risk children that the teacher would work with every day. So we decided that we wanted to try and capture both the theory and the practical part of what this might look like for a reading recovery teacher's role relative to a district that was really interested in implementing a comprehensive literacy kind of framework. Section one then is where we're asking the school to do a self-evaluation. We're asking the school to really think about where are you right now in terms of literacy, in terms of fulfilling the promises to the children that are in your school. We identified for section two six essential components of a comprehensive system where you can have discussion then about where are you relative to professional learning community? Where are you relative to evaluation and assessment? Where are you relative to the interventions that you provide for students? One philosophy that I studied quite a bit and staff studied was the professional learning communities by the DeFores and that's the philosophy that we implemented at Medlark Elementary School and through that philosophy which is really collaborative uh, we were able to build on our reading recovery teacher's knowledge where she influenced not only first grade students but all students based on the coaching she did with staff. The team meetings we had were structured around grade levels. We had grade level teams and along with grade level teachers we had our reading recovery teacher, even our guidance counselor or social worker was involved on a team and they would meet once a week for an hour a week and they would collaborate on professional text being read and it was so powerful because it was sustained weekly and teachers were learning from one another. Section 3 then asks the team that is working through all of this to then say, okay, let's identify those goals and now let's talk about how we're going to reach those goals. What needs to happen in order for us to reach those goals? Our kids started demonstrating learning at a high level. I remember the, the first staff meeting we had at the beginning of the year, the assistant superintendent referred to it as the Metal Arc Miracle which we got a kick out of, but we knew it wasn't a miracle, it was a lot of hard work. Um, but over time, the first year, second year, third year, we went from a failing school to our students scoring above the 95th percentile in reading, writing, and math. I really believe that if you want to improve as a school or, or an organization, you have to figure out where you are right now. And luckily for us in the field of education, you can do that by looking at your student data. That's one way. Another way is to check what you believe and make sure that your actions match those beliefs. And this guide, I still get excited when I read it because it makes me think how I can help principals go through this process and not have to go through it blindly like we did. Every reading recovery teacher trained is promising literacy for that child. We believe that this guide and the conversations that this guide can inspire within the school and indeed within the district can indeed go well towards the goal of promising literacy for every child.